Ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing today anyway, Justin? Doing great, mate. So, a little insight to how my weekend started. On Saturday, I woke up in the morning, raring and ready to go to my first job of the day. And my pressure washer wasn't working. Wasn't having none of it. So, I'm turning this off because it's a bit noisy. So me and Nathan bodied up together. We got some of his jobs done. And then I got one of my clients put on the end of my diary. When we get to Nathan's client, back tire on my van, have a look at my tire, was in an abysmal state. The wire was showing on the tyre, so you know what that means, immediate three points. Yeah, I'm currently driving my spare because I'm waiting for my tyre to be replaced, so I've got to go and get my tyre done today. And also, as you notice, I'm not got the awning on the van anymore. The reason being because I wasn't using it enough, so if any of you guys want the awning, it is for sale. Drop me a DM, I'll tell you how much it is. That spare tyre has seen better days. Big difference, isn't it, when you go from a 20 to a 16 or whatever that spare is. We're doing a maintenance clean on these clients. Range Rover Sport, as you all know, a maintenance clean. Compromises of the interior and the exterior cleaned to the highest possible standard. But in order to be eligible for maintenance, your vehicle needs to be done within four weeks with us. So anything over four weeks then goes into our advanced clean bracket. After four weeks, the car's gonna be a lot dirtier, so it's gonna take us a lot longer to clean it. So a little bit of insight to anyone who wants to get booked in. If you wanna meet the maintenance requirements, get your car done within a four week period. Nathan, Nathan be doing this unscrewing job. <laughs> well, what's going on? You borrowing Nathan's out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got the original Cranford gun, which is a little bit longer than mine. I've gone for the shorter, stubby one, which has got a variable lance on it. So it allows me to change my pressure by switching my nozzle. Obviously, this one is a constant flow, so it uses the same pressure all the time. And then obviously, his snow foam connection as well. He's also the original M M30 thread or whatever the thread is. We have to screw it on where mine is push and pull so it's a lot quicker but this bit of kit is still an amazing bit of kit so reliable but now the moment of truth the beautiful there's no foam it's back on the screw in it again screwing it screwing it screwing it well such a cold day today now Ian said it's not that cold man, but for me I've got the marigolds on man, my hands are freezing I've got the one glove on Shout out the one glove crew out there Shout out the one <laughs> glove crew So how are you Ian anyway? How's life? Good man I've had a few years of just like grafting and just being a bit selfish You not, have? Yeah, not really taking up time for like everybody in my family as much as I feel like I should yeah. but then other people reassure me that I've got like a good Balance. I've got a good family relationship, like better than they have. But yeah. I think it's that like, it's just the culture of my family yeah. and the way that we kind of have expectations of one another. It's like, and you need to feel it in your heart, innit? Yeah, that's it. I need to feel like I'm I'm doing enough. Like I'm not just paying lip service. Yeah, yeah. People, but yeah. you let them down. Yeah. Absolutely. Sometimes it's better to say no, but when you say yes, they know it's happening, innit? Every minute counts, innit? Yeah, you come into those precious years. And start finding that good balance. Not thoughts you want to think about, but thoughts you have to think about, innit? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Where's your work-life balance at this point in your life? It's getting better because I've consciously thought about it. Obviously, I've, over the last two months, man, it's been so manic. But now I'm trying to dedicate having a Sunday off and actually having a Sunday off, you know, like yeah. of physical work or mental work and just spend some time with the family. It's difficult, but again, it becomes a choice, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Was it something that you struggled with before? Oh, definitely. I think most people who are running a business or most people who are driven will have those moments where you can be too much doing one thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And obviously the pandemic taught a lot of people nothing's guaranteed. So as much as you strive to have something, don't forget the things that you do have. Yeah. Especially when you're starting, if you're talking about like a business specifically, and you know, and you're getting that phone call, oh, can you do this for me? And whatever line of work you're in, you've always got that, that voice in the back of your head saying, yeah, this could be the last one, you know, this could be the last one, or what if you don't do this one and then you lose all this and, you know what I mean? That but this is the story of my life. But, <laughs> you know, if you truly believe in yourself, you won't be the last one, more will come. You know, if you're really good at what you do, people will appreciate that and they'll wait if they have to. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's about having that balance. Don't run yourself into the ground. Yeah. I think it also probably comes from a lack of respect for yourself. Yeah. Like not 
not actually like truly believe in, in yourself or like, the thing that you do it's like kind of imposter syndrome the, the sort of the climate we live in now like socially I think it, it's just so easy to just see yourself as an imposter yeah because of the way that everything appears online everyone just looks legit yeah but again remember this is the internet man we all put up what we want people to see there's not a lot of transparency on the internet as much as it seems like there is you know you just have to Remember that your life doesn't need to be a mirror image of someone who's potentially doing well. Mm. We all have our own individual journeys and stories, don't we? And our own uh, idea of success. That's right. And wealth. But most people attribute it to money. In reality, success in me, for me, I would say, is doing something you love. Like anybody in the world who's doing exactly what they chose to do is a success in reality. Because there's a lot of people that are doing things they don't want to. So if you can put yourself in a position where you're doing what you want to do, at any given moment. That's a success. What more can you want? Money is a byproduct of you doing what you love. Money shouldn't be the end goal nope. for what you do nope. because you'll never find that happening. You'll never, ever, ever. You say to yourself, I want to make a thousand pounds this month. You make a thousand, you want to make two, you make two, you want to make five. You know, and all you do is just chasing, chasing, chasing. Yeah. Whereas if you said to yourself, you know, I don't know, I want to, I want to impact three people in a positive way this week and you do it, you're going to have a totally different satisfaction. What? Trying to impact people's lives in a positive way. Yeah. So I'm not chasing money per se, but it would be nice to give some people the opportunity to earn an income based on the position that the business is in at the moment. You've got your uh, interviews coming up soon. Haven't That's you? right. Yeah, middle of March. Five people will be put through the, their paces and see if Gladiator comes out on top. David and Goliath. What would you say are the ideal things that you're looking for in an R's and team member? Um, most, most importantly, the mindset to overcome problems. Because in life, nothing is clear cut, nothing is straightforward. So even in the daily life of going out clean in a vehicle, you may have a situation where the person's residence isn't ideal for your van, so you can't park your van as close to the car. What do you do? You know, that's just one example. The wheel's not cleaning because there's like heavy contamination on it or your pressure washer brakes not minded or you get a flat tire you know all of those little things and the way you overcome them will set you up for great prosperity in the future it's not about the money it's about make sure you deliver the correct service make sure the client's happy and then the rest will all come so for me it's all about the mindset is that person willing to put the work in when things aren't going to plan and when things are going to plan they'll get rewarded so that's it Don't overcomplicate it, innit? It's been my mistake way too many times before. Overthinking situations, yeah. anticipating too much, and then when it actually happens, it's never as bad as I think it's gonna be. Let's go with the flow. What will be, will be, man. Clean workplace, it just makes everything more efficient. The way you can get in and out doing your job, the mindset going into the job, like planning out your day and having things set in a certain way, mate. <laughs> Game changer. Just in the back of a van, man's got a kettle. What else we've got here? We've got some cups, microwave. That coffee mate that I can see back there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's actually better cute. It's cute. I would say. Try. Did you prepare these yourself? I didn't. It was my partner. My beautiful partner done it for me. Exactly, that's what I mean. It's cute. She's great. Yeah, shout out to Mrs. Artie van. Thank you, dear sir. Talking about success, this is success, look. We're having a nice coffee, a nice biscuit, we're outside, the weather's nice. We get to speak to people on the road, have conversations, We've got no boss. Mate, what more can you want? Nothing. And we're getting paid to do a job. Listen, sometimes you need to be thankful for what you've got, man. Absolutely. Welcome to Artisan's new podcast series. Release the piece. <laughs> um, we are going to one of our clients down in Aston. Academy, that's the old stomping ground where I used to go to school. One of the biggest in the UK, 2,000 pupils. Yeah, man. So I got my education, it used to be a grant maintained. So it's the college that me and Nathan also went to. 
2009 when we done our personal our fitness instructor course should I say so we qualified as fitness instructors that was where we learned so if you want to know why we've got the mindset to keep going is because that beautiful place Sneak Waller, it's the, you'll see the Superman logo when I add him right. All right, cool. Nice no worries, man. man. See you in a bit. Advertising. Now this is the reason why we don't put on there well, mobile ballot in this that. Like the intriguing people like him will go online and have a look. Instagram is a lookbook, man. To show what you do. Talk is cheap. As DMO would say, let's talk more action. Get me. Fish is satisfaction. She gon' get hers, we gon' Like the one we had the one with my, the... My stereo system's going back in this car. Is it? What stereo you bought? What is it? Yeah, I bought hat. This was my car or, originally before I got the Beamers and then uh, it's got an Audison, uh, Audison uh, speakers, Audison subwoofer. 1996, Here I had go. a Honda Accord. Here 1986 we go. Honda Accord. Here we go. <laughs> an 86 Honda Accord in 1996 with a fucking 15 inch JBL, uh, no. 15 inch kicker in the back. Bumping fucking Bone Thugs and Harmony Crossroads. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Bum. I remember that same, like, when my dad had his, uh, his uh, Peugeot 306, man, and I started driving 17. That was the tune. Spit your game, talk your shit. The remix, man. <laughs> had a big bass box in the back. Mate, memories. Mate, I love this job. You know what the beautiful thing is about this job? You get to speak to clients and friends and we get to deep it, we get to have some amazing conversations. I'm like a good guy, Mark, he's from Chicago, so he's giving me the inside information of what it's like living in the US, man. You know what, I love this job, man. I love it! My tire is here! I'm going to see my guy H at Checkpoint Tires, so if you need any tires in Birmingham, Checkpoint Tires. But this is where my old unit used to be, so you can actually have a look at where we started. Let's go and have a look. So originally, when we first started off, right there in the corner was our first unit. Um, and then we moved out of there, went mobile, and then we came back and then we had another unit just here. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fire. Hard day of Hard day man when you when you're frustrated and you might want to punch someone in the face. That's why you come here, you hate got a punch bag. And you have that hard client that's just a little bit too tough on you. And you know, the one that wants discount. You, you can like... just go and hide behind <laughs> the tires and just have <laughs> <laughs> Only scrapyard, if you don't know, you get to know. Listen, Harry is a great guy, man. He gave us the opportunity to start off. So, this was a stomping ground. Obviously, H has been smashing it here. No barrier to entry now, man. No awning. Got my 20 year back on it. In a transporter, a transporter, and a T5 of that. Remap to that ultimate remap. Shout out ultimate remaps for the remap. They even put a popcorn rev limiter on it. For popcorn rev limiter, if you don't know what that is, neither do I, you better ask them. <laughs> <laughs> so the day is done. Vlog style video. It's nice to have a few different uh, videos go up on the YouTube channel. But this one is more about going around the day, seeing how we work, getting to have a conversation with some great clients, and having a deep chat with my guy Ian. Thanks for coming, man. It's no a pleasure. Yo, if you like the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up share it and subscribe to the channel because all of those things help the algorithm but you know the motto whatever you do cream your hands and do it well cheers ladies and gentlemen